Hello everyone and welcome back. Well, I can't really say welcome back, but I can say welcome to this new series here on my channel where we are going to be playing City Skylines. Now, I know I'm pretty late to the party of making videos about City Skylines. Um, many YouTubers have done it a lot before me, um, but I thought maybe it's time I do give this a try. Try getting back into the gaming scheme of making content and try going a little bit better on a city and going a little bit more in depth. I've been playing this game for about a year now. Um, I'm definitely not the best at it. I'm not, I'm, I'm no city planner plays, but I am trying to get better, um, at the game itself. So we are here in a brand new world called Marathon Valley. Um, I do have quite a few mods installed. Um, one specifically that will allow me to have access to almost all the plots here. Um, of course we lock them off as we go. And as well as a couple different district themes and things along here at the bottom. I also do not have every DLC in the game but I do have some that will hopefully enhance the playing experience at least a little bit um, to make this a fun experience for y'all. So I think the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get started with just our entry point. Um, the map I'm on is a recreation of Appleton, Wisconsin, and this Marathon Valley is a little bit based off of like Marathon County um, style. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to be pretty Midwestern because I live in um, the Marathon County area. Um, so this will be kind of fun to experiment and try to build something very similar. Throughout this series, I am going to bring up inspiration from different cities um, and here from things like Google Earth and cities that I know, um, just to try to give myself some inspiration along the way. So, of course, let's first get started here with the interchange. Now, I'm not the best at it. Um, I will purchase a little bit of land on this side and on this side just to give us, self, just to give us a little bit more wiggle room around here. Um, so let's zoom in right about here and let's go into our roads. So I'm going to expand this out um, let's See so we we're coming from a three-lane highway here a one-way three-lane highway um, Let's see so I always like trying to come off and letting the traffic spread out a little bit um, When it does come out here, so I am going to go three out and I'm just gonna go off into that way a little bit and into this way a little bit. And I know I'm not following the guidelines of like starting off with dirt roads. I've never really done that. Um, I know a lot of people say that you really should, um, but I've just never really found use in why I should do something like that. So I've always just attempted to be a little bit more creative and go right into it um, as it goes. So once this will work, which is actually giving me a really weird output here. I don't know what's happening. Hmm. Boop. There we go. So I'm gonna go out there, and then I'm also going to come directly in right here. And then come about two out on that side. There we go. So I'm going to probably just make this a lot more simple than what I was thinking here. Um, and we're just going to go in right in the center. Right about there, too. Oh, is that not even possible? Hmm. That is really strange. Okay, so again, um, I'm definitely not the best at this either. Um, so that's not going to be as pretty as I hoped. But again... It's just bringing people into the city, and I think, let's see, I probably should make, lay that out a little bit better. Um, let's look into this a little bit more. So I'm going to try and curve this coming in and come to right about there and then make that a straight road in, but then I'm going to split that. So I'm going to go a little bit further in on a highway before turning. Oh, not going there yet. We're going to go into a four lane highway with two rows. And we're going to bring that in before letting this highway guy come out here. I'll let it come out just a little bit. Like that. giving me quite a hard time here um, 
There we go. Okay, so that certainly doesn't look pretty, um, but it should be decent enough just to get us started um, coming in. And now that we're on a road like this, this of course is a highway, I am going to bring that in and just convert it to a regular town road. I'll probably just get... Okay, good. So I like having a little bit of grass on the side. I think that gives it a little bit of a prettier aspect. Now, if you look here, if I bring up the information menu, um, you'll see we're going to go off on a dip here. And that's not the best way to come in with a road. Um, of course, what I could do with the little bit of knowledge that I have on this game, um, we could go in to our tools and flatten this out. Um, which I would be totally fine for doing, and maybe in this case I will do that. Um, so I'll make that a little bit bigger. We're going to cut it right where this one is, and we're just going to straighten that out. Um, but what I would actually recommend doing is if you're going to build a road down one of those cliffs, to follow the contours of it and just kind of build it into the landscape, um, because that will create a better overall looking city there for you. Um, so let's go in right here. And now we have these nice gra grassy sides of the road um, with a sidewalk along it as well. This We could overall just make this whole path here just the main street that comes into our city. Um, and as you see, we will have to split off into different areas, and that's always something I enjoy doing. But I am going to treat this kind of like a highway. I will have off-ramps so that this will be like the one road that leads right through our city, or I could pull like an average county type thing and just have multiple different zones that come right off the highway. Um, but just to get started in here, um, for this first episode, we are going to just go into this area, therefore um, it doesn't need to have everything, um, Just to, it just needs to have enough. So I'm going to come up with some wider part um, sidewalk lanes here, and we are going to go into a little bit of a dip there, um, which should be okay. And I'm going to go and start doing some suburban type things. Um, subdivisions, whatever you want to call it. Um, these will be regular roads coming in. Actually, I think I will add grass to the side of these, of course, again. And I'm going to try to get as much land inside here. So I'm going to line up right there um, and see I can get all the squares in. So if I do it right here, you're going to see I'm going to maximize my space and all of that can be used for housing now. Um, and I'm going to do a similar thing right here. Do that there. Um, now here, of course, we're going into a dip again. So I'm trying to think. I think in this case I will just go ahead and do that. And as you can see, it's going to automatically flatten it out decently um, there for us as well. So boop, and we're going to do that. And now I will connect all of these up. Uh oh, so that one came out a little bit too far there, and I bet you guys probably caught that before I did. Um, I'm going to line that up. There we go. Now these should all line up at a nice 90 degree angle. And just because I don't want to cut off of this main road, I'm not going to go any further. I probably could like come in halfway. Um, but I, to be honest, I don't think that looks very good if you look down here. Um, so I don't think I'm going to end up going through with that. So I'm just going to go there. And now we have this nice four lane road we're coming off of, but we have a lot of traffic lights. Um, I think that's a lot of traffic lights to have here in one spot, so I am going to go into this TMPE mod. I'm going to turn all these off, um, and I'm going to replace them instead with a stoplight on this end, or <laughs> not a stoplight, a stop sign on this end here um, that literally is just here to make sure that these guys have the right of way when they're coming through. And I plan to go across that river. And then we can expand into stuff over there. It looks like we have some train tracks and stuff we can hook up to on that side as well. So let's also go, because we have a lot more room on this side, um, let's also go into here. I'm actually going to go out a little bit further on this side. And you're going to see what I'm going to do a bit later on. Um, and we're going to do that there. So now we have this nice little chunk here. Now. I'm going to continue on with the idea of doing those straight lines so it, go, it cuts right across on this edge. Um, but I am also, even though I don't need it, um, I am going to, just for the decoration of it, I'm going to run a nice boulevard down the center here um, just to give it a little bit of a nice feel. Um, now if I look here again, I'm going to look back in because I feel like now, yes, we're going to need stop sites. Uh, um, stop signs on this end to just finish that off nicely. So now that we have that in, 
you have nice stop signs here. Um, so everyone's blocked off decently well. And now we have these subdivisions. Now, of course, I'm not just going to leave that like that. I am going to put these into a district. Um, it renames it Elk. Um, I'm going to try to be a little bit community um, intensive in this series. So I'm going to have you guys help me out. It will stay Elk District just for now. Um, but I will going to change the styles in here. So I think for here, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to try, I'm going to do the Midwest suburbs because I feel like that will fit nicely with what we're trying to figure out here. Um, and because I'm doing that, I will be, let's zone this all out for nicer residential. So it'll be low density. And then I'll also do low density on this side. Um, just because that's a nice low density area. Um, and we, now we need to fill in our services. So I like having this nice entry road. I forget the official name of it. Um, I'm going to extend this out just a little bit. Of course, we're going to change that later on. Um, but I forget what the official name of this road. I think, I think this is like a feeder or a main road, um, that comes in from the highway. Um, that's really nice because now we shouldn't have too many traffic problems coming in either because we only have one stoplight right here. Um, stop and go light that's letting and let, not letting people in, um, which is good to have there. So now that we have that, I think it's time to go into our city services. Let's just go right across. Um, we probably don't need the big clinic just to get started. Um, we don't need the big hospital or even the high density one. I will end up installing a lot of these later on. Um, let's just start off with this low density clinic. I will end up installing that somewhere along this road. I don't think I'm going to put anything on this side. Um, just because that's more industrial stuff's going to be going in and out on that side. So we probably better off putting something right around here. So as you notice, that's going to cut off stuff in the end. So I'm going to put it right there. Once we get into our fire also, that does a similar thing. Um, I will also end up leaving that on the side of the road on that end. And then the police station, um, that one, I think we might have to just go a little bit further in on this end and create a bigger, more high density police station just because um, that should help us out there. So then there's our main city services. They're just kind of sitting here on the road. And at this stage in the city, we don't need to go super in depth on the design. That'll be once we're starting to turn profit in the city. Um, this is also a time for me to start going into the ordinances um, right around here. So this should apply to the whole city at this point. So I always try to go similar stuff for all my cities. Um, we're going to do a smoking ban, even though that costs us money, it will improve the health and just make our, our city a little bit cleaner. Um, I always try to do an education boost. We have some smarter people in our cities and add in the um, parks and recreation. I also want to have more high tech housing here, um, which I think will be nice. And that should be all we're going to need just to get started um, in here as well. Now, because this is kind of our like main area, um, I do think along the edge here, I am going to make this... Um, some nice low density um, commercial district stuff. And because we don't have many workers at this point, I'm just going to do those. So now we have the minor, minor um, layout. We're going to need to install some water systems, which is easy enough. Um, it's just really just running these under the road, getting all that installed, and which easily doesn't take very long at all. And of course, this is kind of tedious. I mean, if if we're going to start building some country homes, I would like to find a mod or something that allows us to um, make these homes self-sufficient um, with like their own well system. And maybe that is an option in here. I don't really know. I don't think so, actually. So I thought there would be like a self-sufficient thing, but clearly there isn't. Um, but that would be nice if there was, because that would allow these homes to have their own well system and they wouldn't need all that. Now we need to figure out where we're going to pull in our water from. Looks like the stream is going downward. So in that case, it would be a good idea to have our pumping station. I'm actually going to go with the higher and bigger capacity one first just to get started there. And then lower down the line, um, we'll do our output plants here. And I think I'm going to install two of those just to be safe. Now we're going to connect that up there. Connect this one up here. And that covers our water. So water is practically done now. All we have left is electricity and garbage. Now, if we go into our taxes, of course, we can't see anything because we haven't started the city, but I will increase that up to like 12% on all of these just because um, 
and these ones will always do a little bit more um, just because we will need that extra money to get the city off the ground um, in that case now I'm also I have a really weird train of thought um, but I am going to immediately put a park into here um, even though it's cutting out of some of our precious um, land space I think that including a park in here is necessary um, for the well health of our citizens and I feel like having a park will help out with all of that so now we have a playground over there and a nice um, little plaza park here for people to hang out at as well um, I probably should also while we're going into all this too, um, build up the schools um, unlike all of those which are on the main system this is more of a residential needed facility um, I could put it in the center and get the most use out of people but again I don't want to cut out even more um, this is a decision I have to make. I do think, after all, with this, I'm going to put an elementary school there and a high school right here as well. That should cover the majority of our people, at least for this first little bit. And that should cover it, of course. Oh, wait, I forgot about electricity again. So now we get to weigh our options. Do we want to use a coal plant? Um, it does create heavy pollution, but they are very efficient. Um, we have oil. Um, we also have solar and then nuclear if we want to go in. But nuclear, as you can see, is 200 grand. Um, that's a lot of money. And then after that, it's $8,000 a week to keep up. Whereas a coal plant is $19,000 and then $560 to build. We have a $5.4 or so million dollar budget currently. Um, so I think that's not going to really be a problem if we, whichever one we end up doing. Um, while we're at it though, I will end up installing this little power line system there. As well as, um, getting some power fed into the city here. I'm just going to go right in there. Just trying not to take up too much space. We kind of have to take up something, at least. Um, and then I'm also going to come out here with a simple... Maybe I will do that similar four-lane road here, even though it's not really needed. Um, just out to here. And then now it's time to figure out how we're going to do trash and handle that. Um, the, the way I try to handle trash is... Putting it in an area that is not as necessarily seen by people, but still somewhere in the city that trucks can get to. So I think I'm just going to put that right about here. Um, we're just going to install that, and I'll do a small recycling center. And then, of course, this is going to need water like everything else in the city. So I'll run that over here, um, as well as, of course, it's going to need a power. So let's run a power line out to try to keep that at a decent angle right out to there and then that shouldn't take up too much room either so at this point it would appear that we are again i keep forgetting about electricity okay so i don't know how much power he's going to use and of course wind turbines are cheap um it looks like we have some really nice wind here it's a lot more windy down in this area so I think I am going to do a really quick and simple just um, wind farm over here. As much as I, in the real world, am not a big, I'm not the biggest fan of wind power um, because it has a lot of upkeep charges and things. So it's definitely not the best practice, but just to get started, to have a small wind farm like this making decent power, um, we should be okay there. And that should be it. So now it's time to press go for the first time in our city. Let's start off a little bit quick. As you can see, the houses are building up pretty quickly. Um, and they, of course, they're going to complain about power until something gets built up in this area. But once that happens, everyone's going to have power and they will all be happy. Um, but that will take a little bit. Yep, now everyone, you'll see here that now all the power is supplied to the city. Um, we're traveling from house to house. This is good to see. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit more to see how many residents we're going to get into here. Of course, we're losing a lot of money, too. You can see we're losing like $8,000, $8,500 um, weekly at this point. But that is normal because we don't have our people paying taxes yet. Now we can actually look at our taxes in. Um, you can see we're making in three, dollars $4,000. That's going to increase by quite a bit. Um, we're, we're sustainably using like 9000 a week. So if we can surpass that quickly which it looks like we are going to end up doing, um, we will turn out to have a pretty profitable city right off the bat. Or maybe just breaking even, um, if we want to count it at that point. 
Um, so yeah, we are gonna we're losing a little bit, but that'll be quickly improved um, once you'll start getting in. And if we notice here, we can see how my very amateur system here for cars coming in they seem to actually be working okay. Um, it's weird to see that all these people are just like going directly back out of the city. But if you look, they are coming in, and the system seems to be working fine, um, which is very good to see. And looks like our wind farm is working now is a good time to check up. So we're making 54 megawatts. We're using 21, so we're okay on that front. Um, healthcare, we are doing okay. I probably should build a graveyard now that I think about that. Um, so I'll probably put that there just because we kind of need it um, right away. Um just for that and everything else should be okay at least for this first creation of the city um as you can see our houses look pretty midwestern um i can't really tell if that theme is working um but it seems to be using midwestern suburban um assets i can't really tell um but it is applied to this district so we should be able to see it pulling from it if I look here, styles. Okay, uh, it is pulling from that, so we should be okay. And then, jig zippers, yeah, Canadian. I mean, I'm just going to leave it at that, just for now. So, that should be okay, I think. Okay, now we're starting to see a little bit of a traffic hold up here as people start to come in. Um, but as you'll notice, they, they should be able to park on their roads, or these no parking zones. Maybe that extra grass takes away from their parking. Okay, yeah, it does. So they don't actually have the parking usability. So maybe this is a good time to, as much as I don't like it, um, just because we could add in a parking garage, um, this thing here, which would provide um, some areas of for people. Um, so I'll probably provide that over here. Also in the shopping district, because that will help out there. And we should start seeing... At least some cars get parked up into here as people go shopping or if they want to just keep their cars here while they're leaving. Um, because my analogy for this, even though it was such a really quick thing, um, they can just grab their, they can walk to the parking garage, grab their car, and then just go out like that. But I do think that that's where I'm going to wrap up this um, first episode of the series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like and comment what you want me to do. Um, if you know anything about this game, again, comment down below and let me know some more information that you may know about City Skylines. I'm really interested in learning through this series and getting to know it a little bit better. Um, but with all that said, um, thank you again for watching. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye.